Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kelly Ann Class. Well, off to a cold start this morning. We did have feels like temperatures into the single digits and teens. And despite the sunshine that we're going to be seeing by this afternoon, still going to feel pretty chilly outside. And we have not a cloud in the sky to start off your afternoon here in Crosby 10. Winds are relatively light, too. So that's the good news, especially since we're still fe still feeling some of this chilly air stick around with us. They have now turned to the northeast to stay at about 10 to some places almost 20 miles per hour. So it does feel a little bit colder than it actually is. Here's the temperatures right now. Now what they feel like 31 right now in Lubbock 27 and, and 34 is what it feels like right now in La Mesa. So it's still cold to start off your afternoon. We're going to continue to see those chilly temperatures throughout the rest of the daytime hours today. We're talking about high temperatures only in the upper 40s and lower 50s and actually may feel a little bit colder by later on today with some of those wind speeds still sustained at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. We are though going to keep the sunshine all day today and that's all thanks to some high pressure that's going to really continue to strengthen within the next a couple of hours or so. Looks like we may get an increase in cloud cover tonight and then into tomorrow, but all that cloud cover should really decrease by tomorrow evening, especially for New Year's Eve. Midnight by tomorrow night, temperatures will be into the 30s. No issues there, but you're definitely going to want to break out some sort of glasses if you don't have any contacts because we're seeing 2020 by Wednesday. Temperatures will be into the 60s and this forecast certainly not seeing things correctly. Our high temperature this time of year should be 53 degrees. We're going to be at 60 degrees on Wednesday. Wednesday to start off the new year and the new decade, and we're also going to see sunshine around as well. Looks like things are going to change though by Thursday as we are expecting a little bit more of some wintry precipitation back into the mix, especially off in eastern New Mexico and around the state line. Early Thursday morning, maybe a few snow flurries and a wintry mix possible. It tries to move into West Texas and it may actually do so, but just depending on how warm that air really is, just depends on if we're going to see rain or snow. But as of now, if you are going to be in New Mexico, seeing just a little bit of some snow, but looks like it's really not going to accumulate too much. This system moves out by Friday morning and then we're going to be left with dry conditions over the next couple of days. Now, in terms of snow accumulation, obviously not expecting a lot, just a coating possible. At least that's what the Euro model is saying. But as we take a look at the GFS, it looks like it may be a little bit heavier. Uh, it is indicating maybe a little bit more uh, heavier snowfall off in New Mexico and now pushing out that snowfall uh, potential in eastern New Mexico. So something to watch definitely, especially as we get more data on in. But for now, it looks like maybe a few flurries again, not going to accumulate too much, but looks like it's now backtracking just a little bit. So that's the good news. Otherwise, today, a high temperature of 50 degrees. Uh, we actually will have have winds pick up throughout the daytime hours today, keeping them very breezy at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Otherwise, abundant sunshine will keep those clear conditions tonight. Maybe a few clouds across the area as temperatures fall into the 20s once again. And over the next seven days, we stay relatively dry. 50 degrees by the end of the year, end of the decade, 60 degrees to start off the new year. But then we have about a 51 degree mark for Thursday as we are still watching that wintry precipitation potential still remaining into the 50s by Friday back to the 60s on Saturday and Sunday. So this is still a roller coaster ride in temperatures really yeah. not good for the immune system. If you're uh, someone like Matt who gets <laughs> sick pretty easily, I don't know if you could hear it, his voice, stock up on the vitamin C, wash your hands, go to the doctor. Everything will be all right if you just take it easy. Get enough sleep, too. Killing Matt's not doing that. Hey, I'm a victim of it. I apologize because <laughs> I am a victim of it. This throat is all over the place, but I will take that notion for sure. Yeah, don't forget to wash your hands. That's the most important thing. And some sleep. Okay, yeah. I will. We'll be I back sure here tomorrow will. morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gilliam.